The Lankan Premier League is supposed to be happening on the 5th to the 23rd of December and I can tell you one thing for a fact is that whole of Sri Lanka is super excited for it. Now we have a bunch of very special individuals with us to talk to us a little bit about the insights and um, what exactly is going on with regards to it. Now first up we have none other than Mr. Q Khan. Um, a lot of you cricket fanatics out there already know this very special individual but for those who don't, sir, first of all introduce yourself to everybody. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your inspirations as well. Well, firstly, thank you for the invitation. Um, yeah, so basically, um, I arrived in England um, Christmas Day, 1977, at the age of 12, um, and been based in the UK since. Um, I'm a common guy. Um, <laughs> so the most important thing is that, you know, um, whatever I'm today in life is through friendship. I met some really, really great people who actually have encouraged me to get to where I am. And the aim of this uh, franchise and the Mula franchise is again through friendship. And my, my uh, vision is to be able to develop um, young cricketers in Sri Lanka, give them an opportunity uh, to uh, participate in a sport which sometimes they might not necessarily have. So going back to myself, in the, in, in, in the United Kingdom, I have set up a, a business, so the company is called Hammer PLC. We've been trading uh, for uh, 17 years. Um, I'm, uh, my passion is cricket. Um, I'm in, involved with grassroots cricket uh, with the club called Buckers Hill for the last 22 years. I have a foundation, which is you know, Hammer Foundation, and that basically helps underprivileged kids to participate in sport. I work with um, you know, a number of organizations uh, that basically promote exactly what my views and my ethics are. Uh, and the franchise has really given me an opportunity to basically fulfill my own passion of actually being able to um, give uh, uh, people the opportunity to believe in themselves, basically, um, to, to get to a level where, uh, unfortunately, you don't need to be from a privileged background to be able to, to play sport. Um, it, it is tough, but certainly uh, someone helped me you know, 20 years ago, and my vision is exactly the same. I want to help the next person along the line. I genuinely can't think of a better motivation than that, sir. Uh, moving on, you called yourself a common guy. I genuinely would like to, um, well, disagree a little bit because you are one of the most renowned entrepreneurs in, in Sri Lanka and also in the UK as well. Um, why exactly did you decide to invest in Sri Lankan uh, Premier League? What was your motivation behind it? Was there a specific reason or is it just because you were invested or rather you wanted to develop cricket in Sri Lanka? I think as I said, Earlier. So, what I meant by a common man is that basically I'm no different than you and I. Mm. Okay, so my vision here is not I'm not you know, I'm not investing into the franchise because of financial gains. I'm investing for you know for personal gains to be able to provide a, a situation uh, platform for for youngsters to be able to play sport. So, what made me buy um, the Mula uh, uh, Giants? Well, I was given an opportunity last year to come and see season one. And to be honest, in the COVID, uh, in the pandemic, the way the tournament was held and organized, I was so impressed. It was a no-brainer for me. Um, you know, from the time of arriving at the airport to getting to the hotel, being in quarantine, and then going to the matches, the whole uh, tournament was run so well. Um, so I, you know, I had no hesitation. Of, when the opportunity did come along, I had no hesitation of actually being, uh, being part of it. I, I guess everybody listening is, is going to be impressed with that as well, knowing that you were treated well, as you should. Um, moving on, sir, one of my questions to you is with regards to, you know, how exactly has your experience been in Sri Lanka thus far, specifically with the Sri Lankan Cricket Board? Uh, we want you to be as honest as possible. How exactly has your interactions uh, been with the Sri Lankan Cricket Board? I think, look, let's be honest, obviously the tournament was originally set to start sort of July, um, but due to pandemic, and various other commitments, so whether it was the cricket board or the other, uh, uh, you know, the T20 World Cup, obviously the tournament has been put back to 5th of December, uh, till 23rd of December. For the, for the country, for, for the cricket fans, I mean, this is, this is the best thing that happened. I mean, people have been waiting a long time, you know, we've been going through this pandemic for the last couple of years, to have a sport which is obviously a national sport of Sri Lanka, uh, and to be able to get this tournament on, you know, hats off to Sri Lanka cricket board, um, you know, for, for them to actually get it going. 
Absolutely, I agree with you, sir. Um, my find one last question to you. Now we were talking about how Dumbledore Giants, uh, or rather Vikings, last year. Um, you know they came up to the semi-finals. What are the strategies this year? Do you plan on implementing, or what other strategies have you implemented to make sure that you know they could go as far as possible in the tournament itself? Look, obviously the, uh, the draft took place um, a couple of weeks ago, so um, we have a, a, an excellent team manager. Um, who coordinated exactly you know, what sort of balance of team we were looking for. We believe we have a strong team. Uh, we have a balanced team. Obviously, we have a couple of setbacks uh, where the players uh, weren't available, but uh, we, we are very optimistic of actually being able to deliver, uh, if nothing, uh, you know, to, same as what we did last year. The aim is not to win the tournament. Obviously, everyone wants to win the tournament. The aim is to win the hearts of the people, and, and that's what we're here for. Uh, I I absolutely love that, sir. Thank you so much for being with us today. You've shared with us some insightful thoughts. Thank you so much for being with us and thank you so much for joining thank us as well. Thank you.